Hey, this is Abhishek and in this video I will show you how to create this minimal animation in After Effects. You can use this animation as your channel intro or you can use it as a slideshow, whatever you want. So before I start this tutorial, if you are new here then please consider subscribing and make sure to press that bell icon so that you never miss another amazing video like this. So with that being said, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and as you can see that I've already imported an image. So you can import whatever image you want. You can even use your channel logo however you want. And let's begin. So first we are going to create a new composition. So let's call this animation. And width and height will be 1920 by 1080 like this. And the duration will be like 10 seconds frame rate 30 FPS. Just click on OK. So now we are going to add a solid. So go to layer, new, solid. And you can choose whatever color you want because we are going to change it later on. So to change the color, you can apply fill effect or if you want to have more control, you can also apply a gradient ramp like this. Now you can add multiple colors to it. So let's give it a really nice blue color. Just like this. Now let's create another shape. So in order to do that, just simply go to the rectangle tool. And if you double click, you can see that it will create a rectangle shape. So we can select it and then press S on the keyboard. And let's just scale it to something around 75. Yeah, this looks good. So you can probably rename it to, let's say base. And let's rename to background to PG as well. So now we have our base layer. So we are going to apply an effect called drop shadow to have that really nice shadow effect below it. So for this one, let's set the opacity down to something like 30 and we need a softness like really high. So these are completely up to you, however you want to go with the look. And let's just increase its value something like this. So yeah, this shadow is looking good. If you want to increase the opacity, you can do that just like that. But for this one, we are going to stuck with the 30%. So we have the base. Now let's select our image and I'm going to quickly drop it over here. And I can probably scale it down. Just like this. So you can place it wherever you want. So I think, yeah, this is looking good. And now I'm going to create my text so I can select the text tool and you can type whatever you want so i'm going to type motion design and i'm using this go bold extra one font if you want to use this or you can pick whatever you want so let's just align it using the align panel and if you are not able to see this align panel you can go to windows and from here you can enable it so let's select it and i can press s to scale it up something like this and just place it wherever you want so I think it looks good over here. Now we are going to animate our base first. So I can select it and then add a keyframe over here. And let's move this keyframe to somewhere around two seconds. Now let's go back to the first frame and we can probably unlink these two parameters. So if you click over here, you can unlink them and now you can change the value separately. So let's set its value to zero. Something like this. So if I play back here, you can see we have this kind of animation and we can probably select the keyframes and you can press F9 on the keyboard or you can right click, go to keyframe assistant and then easy is just like this. Now we are going to animate these two layers, but before that, let's select the base layer and press Ctrl D to duplicate it. And I can place one of these above the image and I can again press Ctrl D and duplicate it and place it will above the text as well so now select the text layer and you can change the track mat from here and if you are not able to see this option just click over here and from here you can set it to alpha mat so now you can see that it is not visible and we are going to do the same thing with this one as well so now both of them are hidden and if i play back here you can see that they will start to reveal as our animation will happen and you will notice that we are able to see these edges over here. So in order to fix that, just select these base layers and you can delete the shadow from that. 
just like this so now we have this sort of animation so we are going to add some animation to the design our text and image as well so select both of them and then press p on the keyboard for position and let's add a keyframe and let's go to the very beginning and we can probably select our text and just move it outside the comp area something like this we can do the same thing with the image as well just like that so now if i play back here you can see we have this sort of animation and let's tweak it so that it looks good so select all the layers except the base layer and then you can press u on the keyboard to reveal the keyframes and then select all the keyframes you can press f9 to easy ease them or you can again go to keyframe assistant and then easy ease so once you have easy eased all the keyframes select them and then you can tweak them by going to the graph editor just click over here and from here you can see we are in the graph editor and if your graph looks something different then you probably want to switch it to edit speed value speed graph you might be in the value graph so just switch it to speed graph and now we can select the endpoints and just select and drag the handles so that your graph looks something like this and if you go back and play it so you can see we have this sort of animation so this is how you can create this animation it is very easy and yet it looks very professional if you want you can just play around with the colors and you can change it if you don't want gradient you can just apply a simple fill effect just like that and you can change it to whatever you want just like this also you can change your image you can have whatever you want and this is how you can create this type of animation also the project files for this tutorial will be available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because there are tons of templates and tutorial files that you can download it once you become a patreon member so with that being said this is abhishek and don't forget to press that subscribe button and bell icon and i'll see you in the next video